refreshed within your physical form, within your astral form, within your etheric form, your mental body, your causal body, all coming together as one, feeling refreshed. And I am Sananda. And I come to be with you at this time to continue to give you hope, to continue to provide further understanding of all that is happening in your lives and all of the lives of the collective consciousness of man throughout the planet. For this is that time that you have heard about for so long now, that has been predicted for so long, the great changeover that is in process now. Do not become disheartened by things that you are seeing within the illusion. Because as you have heard many times, it is simply that. It is an illusion. It is a show, a movie that is playing out. If you see it that way, and if you see it that way, you can continue to go on with your lives, not being held down in the quagmire, in the muck, of the third dimensional illusionary expression. For you are beyond that now. We have told you, you are no longer in the third dimensional expression except when you let yourselves be there. You let yourselves become disheartened. When you let yourself become dismayed, disillusioned, But when you find yourselves in the fourth dimension and even fifth dimension, then all that is happening external to you has very little meaning to you in your life. That is where you need to continue to be in the higher expression of the fourth and fifth dimension. And when you can be in that fifth dimensional expression, you feel the bliss. You feel the, the letting go process. Where you can literally go with the flow as you have heard many times. Just go with the flow of creation, of life, of love. Just go with it. And if you do that, when you do that, you will continue to find yourselves flying high, soaring into the heavens of your own being. Because you will no longer be held back. Held back by the hatred held back by the old programming of fear, of jealousy. And all of the other various emotions that tend to keep you in the third dimensional illusionary expression. That is not where you want to be now. Of course, certain moments of your life, the old programming will come up. And when it comes up, become aware of it as just that programming, memories holding programs that continue to move you in certain directions, continue to move your ego to assert itself so that it can still continue to maintain, maintain control. But as you know, you are taking control of your ego more and more. And when you do that, 
your lower ego will step aside and will let the higher levels of yourself come forward. That is where you are all headed now, all working toward, all being trained to be ready to accept the changes within yourself. And there are many, many changes that are happening within all of you now. Yes, there are changes outside of yourself in the external world, certainly. But there are so many changes that are happening within you, within your DNA processes, with your DNA reconnecting, which will bring about much more change within you. And in doing so, without you even knowing it most of the time, but there are those moments, whether in your dream state or your waking state, where you become aware, more fully aware, that you are so much more than just this physical body, this consciousness within a physical body. Because it is your consciousness first and then your physical form. Continue now, each and every day, moving forward now, even each and every moment moving forward with your various thought processes. Keep thinking in positive fashion, knowing that everything is indeed working out for the greater good of all of the collective consciousness of man. And as everything continues on, you are going to find where we have said many times, nothing can stop what is coming. You will fully learn the full ramifications of that. And why we have been saying this, why you have been hearing it from so many different sources. Because, my brothers and sisters, now indeed is the time. So be ready for it. I am Sananda and I leave you now in peace and love and oneness that you would continue to fully more and more realize who you are, what you are here for, and how you can continue to move everything forward in a positive fashion. Om Mani Padme Om Om Mani Padme Om 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 Greetings to you, one is our guest, Sasana is here, and we are ready to continue on and continue on and continue on. For that is what we do. That is why we are here, to continue to uh, help to raise your consciousness to who you are. And believe me when I say that you are going to be a when the full ramifications, the full realization of who you are finally comes within you. You have had brief glimpses of it, but it is coming so much more, and you are going to have so much more, uh, maybe we'll even say fun, with everything that is happening and coming here. We are ready for your questions if you have them. One who serves and Shoshana, we are standing by. I have one. Or maybe by there, I whatever have. the case may be. I have one. Yes. Uh, first, yes. Of, first of all, I, I would like you to tell us, is the, the fourth dimension and the astral plane one and the same thing? Very much so, yes. It is a, a, a process of frequency vibration. And that is the, what you are needing to look at. It, it does not matter what it is or what it is not. 
just that you are raising your, vi frequ your vibrational frequency into the fourth dimensional expression and higher than that. You will not stop at the fourth dimension. You will continue on into the fifth and even higher beyond that. But the fourth dimension is where most of you are now, most of the time now. There are times when you fall back into the third dimensional expression, and there are certainly those times when you find the blissful expression of the fifth dimension and higher. And the astral world is, um, we will just say, it is a part of the entire expression here that we are speaking of. Do not try to differentiate one from the other, for one is within the other here, okay? Yes. Um, uh, Shoshana, do you have anything you add here? You do not. Very good. Um, could, could, you, could you tell us uh, where you are speaking from? Are, are you, are like, are you in, a, in a room at a table? Are you outside under a tree? Are you on a ship? And, and what dimension, what, what level are you speaking from? The, Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, uh, which one? Hmm. We can say we are where we are, in the sense <laughs> that we are so many different places at once. And we can be having a conversation as we are doing with you now and having a conversation in many other places at the same time. We can be in a, a monastery in Tibet, which is actually where we are at this moment, but we are also here speaking to you as well, and being within the consciousness of this one here that we speak through. You see? Yes. I, I, Shoshana, I, I, do you have anything to say? We do not. No? Okay. So I, we move I, on then, Arthur. Well, are, 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 you, are you coming from the, what, which dimension, are, are you from the 8th or 9th, or where are you, where are you, uh, what level are you come, speaking to us from? Again, we say we are where we are. Okay. It does not necessarily matter exactly what dimensional frequency we are at, because we are at many different frequencies at once. I see. You see? Yes, I do. So Thank there you. is not one. It is your, your multidimensional selves that we are speaking of here. So we have multidimensional selves as well. You see? Thank you. Yes. Would there be other questions here? I have a question. Yes. I read a story about a... Uh person who said they're a time traveler from the year 2,906. And in this uh, story, they said something about the universe that we live in is in a jar that is also within another jar. And on March 23rd, 2023, a universal jar will be found which was created by a kid by the name of Edward Thorne. I just wonder if all this is truth or just a story. My goodness, we would say here that there are many different stories, many different flights of fancy that many have come up with in terms of your science fiction and all of the things that have been brought forward in your fables, in your myths, in your stories. All of these things have a semblance of truth within them. As to the exact truth that you are speaking of here with an illusion, with an illusion, with an illusion, that is somewhat accurate, but not quite in the way that it has been put here. For you are within an illusion here, and this illusion is within another one as well, and another one, and another one. So you, in a sense, you are correct here, or that one that spoke of this. As to time travel, yes, there are those that have come, uh, what is your saying, back from the future? Yes, that yep. is it, back from the future. And they uh, are here to... Uh, to shift the timelines as they are doing. And some of you even are, are ones of those that have, are doing this now. You have come from the future and come back here to, uh, to work through this process here 
to assist mankind in doing this. But we cannot go into this too much in depth at this point because your third dimensional consciousness or even your fourth dimensional consciousness is not quite ready for the full understanding and ramifications of all that you are asking for here. Shoshana, do you have... We will say, we will share. Yes. May we share, dear brother. Always. Dear brother, what this story is, as one who search has given, is metaphorical. All, all understandings of how dimensions operate, how universes operate, are much given as metaphor, metaphors, and it becomes a puzzle for you to understand, for you to find the truth within the metaphor, namaste. And we would give here that if you seek to find a little bit more about this and a little bit deeper understanding, you can do that even through your media at this point. There is a movie. This one, James, knows of this movie, and it is called The Thirteenth Floor. Look it up, find it, watch it, and it will give you somewhat of an understanding of what you are speaking about here. Okay? You said that was The Thirteenth Floor? The Thirteenth Floor, yes, that is the name of the movie. Thank you. Yes. Would there be any further questions here? I have a question. Yes. Um, I know it's important for us to not place too much emphasis on the 3D matrix illusion that's happening right now, and we're doing our best to, to, to go to the higher realm because we know that we're part of in our ascension process. But we're we're all experiencing right now a situation with uh, this election and. Some of the blatant things that are happening with the election, and I'm wondering if this is part of the bigger plan to wake more people up. If we're going to get some help from the White Hats or positive military, or how this may ultimately turn out for us on this level, we would say to you all of the above. There, you are experiencing these uh, changes that are happening, and they are not quite to your uh, to your liking, we will say here. And we talk about collective liking here. But that is all part of the process. For, for the third dimensional expression, the illusion to come down and those that are asleep to wake up, it is necessary to uh, bring an end to the old ways, the old paradigm. And that is what is happening here. So even though it appears that things are not going your way, indeed they are. But we cannot give too much more on that at this point. Uh, there are various surprises coming, and we do not want to spoil the surprises at this point. We have waited long enough, and uh, that would be a, a very much a detrimental experience for you if we spoiled the surprises. Okay? Sir do you have anything you we, want to share? We will share here. May we share, dear sister? Yes, sister. Dear one, there is so much to say here that it is quite impossible to encapsulate the true meaning of what is going on for you, for all that are experiencing what they experience. Life, you see, is simply an, an emotional and a mental response to a physical thing which is brought about by an emotional and mental construct. This is difficult to understand for most, so you must you must deduce this down to an idea that every cloud has a silver lining. Every experience 
is a positive one. Every lesson leads you to a larger understanding of the next thing that you will experience. The challenge that all of you find yourself in is judging the experience. These are just experiences and you must find, you must find the light within all that is happening because it will not stop as long as you focus, as long as you look at a situation, it will appear to you the way you are thinking about it. So think about it differently and find the light within the situation and understand that all things lead to a bigger thing to a more prominent thing. All things, all roads lead to God, dear one. Namaste. Very good. Thank you. I have a question. Uh, my question is to Shoshana. Uh, we have some new people on the call, and they possibly don't know who Shoshana is and where she comes from, so I'm going to ask that for them, possibly, if that's okay. We cannot answer a question that is posed for another. Okay, I would answer, like to know. Answer, <laughs> answer it for me, then. What do you wish to know, dear sister? I want to know who Shoshana is. Um, do, you, do you not know? Not all, not all together. Not all of it, no. It, it, it's, I'm sure it's more uh, complicated than your higher self. Where does the higher self come from? Your sister, you have put us in a situation that is in the unexplainable realm, you see. We are here to shed a perspective, to shed a light on that which troubles you, that which concerns you, that which you find perplexing, that which you wish to clear up. That is what we are here for. Our origins are irrelevant. We are here to give a perspective that will broaden your perspective. That is who we are. Namaste. Very good. Are there any then further questions? Evening, this is Moses. May I ask a question? Certainly, yes. Yeah. Uh, dear one who serves in Master Shoshana, I, I feel that I, I wanted to share um, a state of mind or emotion that I have reached in which I already feel in heaven. I am still in my physical body, but I found myself in a heavenly situation, in a heavenly mood, experiencing a heavenly um, situation and conditions. And um, in, in conversations with, uh, you know, the, the communications that, that have been gifted to me, um, you know, I, I, it appears that um, heaven can be reachable without having to go through the death process. And I was wondering if that is that is what you guys explained and kept telling us over and over and over again, every time we're complaining about this not happening and that not happening and and us experiencing, you know, uh, this and that. If that's what you were meaning, if raising high vibration meant um, 
rich in a place where you really don't care anymore what whether this happens or that happens because you are no longer dependent or you are not no longer identified with those events. Is that what you meant when you meant, you know, race and vibration? Thank you. We would say here that the whole idea of raising your frequency vibration is to raise your consciousness, is to continue to uh, bring you further and further to who you are, who you truly are, and to begin to understand the, uh, the deeper levels within yourself, which is heaven within yourself, which is the God the Father, the source within yourself, you see? It is not a place that you go uh, when you leave your physical body in the death process and you so-called go to heaven, that is a place in consciousness. It is not a place that you actually uh, go to, you see. So there are the various levels, the astral world, the causal plane, all of these, the etheric plane, all of these various uh, places, but they are within consciousness. And your conscious knowing self, this is why we use this term always with you, conscious knowing self. You, as that conscious knowing self, are moving into higher vibrational frequencies, which is taking you into the higher dimensions. So you could look at, in a sense, heaven as the fifth dimension if you want to here, you see. Heaven can be wherever it is for you. It can be right here in the earth. Even in this expression that you are in now, you can find heaven right here, right now. You see? It's not, not that you have to go anywhere, just as you are not going anywhere in your ascension process either. You see? Does this make sense to you? And perhaps Shoshana has other perspectives can give you? Please will share here. We do not wish to, we do not wish to make this a complicated thing. As, dear brother, we did not ask permission. May we share? You, you read my mind. So, you, you know, you, you, you hear that I had already given permission. But yes. Thank you, dear brother. Dear brother, you have clarified this for yourself. You do not need a further explanation. You have, as the saying goes, you have hit the nail on the head, you see. The idea of hell is a perspective, is a state of mind. The idea of heaven is a perspective, is a state of mind is a viewpoint, is a vibrational viewpoint, you see. You can have this at any moment. And as you put it so aptly, that when you no longer identify with those things that bring you down, that create fear for you, that bring you unhappiness, when you no longer focus on those things, when you no longer allow yourself and you have found the discipline in your mind to move past those things, you will find bliss. That is why we say that all that is occurring around you is an illusion of your own making. Make another illusion if you don't like the one you're in. Do something different if you don't like what you're doing. The beings that you are are all powerful. You have been imbued with God's source, with the divine. You have been imbued with this. Yet, many of you are still playing around in an illusion that does not suit you. So we say, 
that you have found heaven, you have found peace, and that heaven and that peace will be disturbed if you refocus yourself in another direction and you can move out of it as quickly as you've moved into it, you see. So maintain that peace, maintain that love, maintain that faith, and do not look the other way. Namaste. Very good. We take one more question, if there is one, otherwise we are ready to release John. Very good. And then, Shoshana, do you have... We wish to. We wish to broaden. We apologize. We interrupted. Yeah. Yeah. We, we wish to broaden those that wish for an understanding of this being Shoshana. We wish to broaden the explanation. It is difficult, however, to really frame it in a way that makes any sense at all. The one known that we call ourselves Shoshana has overlit the being called Joanna to give a perspective that is beyond the grasp of the one Joanna, beyond the third dimensional grasp of her. So we step in to give a higher understanding, to give a broader perspective, to answer the questions of those that wish to have a broader perspective than the one that they currently have, so they ask the question, you see. The so one Shoshana has a long history. She is part of the Essenes. She hails from that era. And she has a higher self that she would reveal if someone wished to ask that. Well, we do not actually have the permission to reveal that. We apologize. We cannot do that. But the higher self has a higher self, 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 you see. Mm -hmm. And it is all dimensional perspective. When we view the third dimension, it is so small. It is so insignificant compared to what is available to all of you. So we see the perspective and the higher perspective. And we wish to tell you all is well. Do not drown yourself in the minutia because it does not go away. The minutia exists. You must move away from it. You see. So we hope that that helped the explanation mm -hmm. of the Shoshana that speaks through Joanna, and she loves all of you deeply. Namaste. Wonderful. And we would just say in closing here to continue to keep the faith. Uh, that uh, just we'll, we'll just leave it at that for now. Keep the faith. Changes are coming. Shanti, peace be with you. Be the one. Cheers. <laughs>